Previously on MPN Boilers Clean Fight. I'd like to introduce everybody to the MPN Mobile Heat Pump Demonstration Unit Mark I, first iteration. And this is the start of the next phase of our Empire Technology Prize mission. We need to get something out there publicly as soon as possible. Yeah, we are planning to take the trailer up to Saratoga on the 19th. Are you going to be able to make sure this all works? It's all systems go for the next week. We're doing a weight test effectively because we're going to take it around the block a couple times to see if I did the weight distribution properly. <laughs> Slow is steady and steady is fast. Um, as much as we want to hit all of our deadlines and be ready for the events coming up, we don't want to go too fast and risk kind of ruining everything we've worked through already. A load like this, we should have a tongue weight of around 800 to 1,000 pounds. It's all about balancing the load. Right now, we are too heavy on the tongue by about 1,000 pounds. Most of that is just the water in the tank. So if we drain the water out, it'll be fine. The hurdle is that we will we need the water in it on the road, so then we'd have to figure out how to drain it, take it on the road, and then put the water back in, all of which is time consuming. And it's definitely good we tested this now instead of waiting till Friday. Can't just be easy. So we're gonna pull it out, maybe just drive it around the block. Slow. Good to see you're out of there. It's in the sun, honestly. In the trailer, we only have three panels up there just for a demonstration, but when this thing's running, it should be enough heat generated out of the panels to run uh, the primary heat pump. So they can put in three to four rows of these panels up on the roof and uh, generate the heat for the heat pumps. For MPN, this is such a huge step forward. A collaboration of every single resource that we've built through the company. Boilers have always been a part of sustainability, but not to the core. And this solution now really changes the way buildings are able to operate in New York City and really reduces the impact on the environment. It took a team to make this happen. This is not a single person effort. It's really, really cool. And uh, I hope our customers and everybody really like what they see. I just came up from Long Island and uh, right about uh, 15 miles away from the Tavensee Bridge, heading north. There's a lot of sensitive equipment back there, but I think it's really riding well. Now it's time to head up the road. We've got about another two hours to go. Look forward to a nice, safe drive up. We just pulled into Saratoga Springs. We're going to shut it down for the night. Tomorrow will be uh, uh, out in the field with a live demonstration of them uh, with geothermal wells. And uh, we'll be able to see you know, how the trailer could actually work with a geothermal well. Got a good night's rest. Beautiful morning this morning. And um, things are all coming together quite well. Ian's actually just filling up the trailer with uh, water. But so we're, uh, we're almost ready to go. It's the, you know, the first test of the trailer out in the wild. It's less now about the prepping. You've done all the prepping, you've done all the work, and so now we just, you get to do it. And whatever happens, happens. We got invited to come to the BOCES uh, geothermal drilling site. Our generators aren't producing voltage. If it's broken, it's broken. We have a little bit of a generator problem, but uh... Fortunately, our neighbors over there decided to uh, be able to give us a little power. Nothing I enjoy more than solving problems. Disaster averted. We came here and originally with the intention of hooking this up to a geothermal well to show how these heat pumps can work with a geothermal system. 
Unfortunately for the BOCES and the geothermal drillers here, they had a drill break last week, and so they were not able to complete the geothermal well. Like I said, it's all these little things you just realize when you're out in the field. So you just deal with problems as they come. Now's as good a time as any, why not? I think you can hear it pretty far away. We had an extremely large influx of people all at once come in. You're standing in a complete demo trailer that essentially uses cold water to make heating hot water at 180 degrees or low pressure steam. We have solar panels on the roof. There's exhaust gas, heat recovery outside, and there's AC in here. And this is using basically as much natural resources as we can possibly nozzle. I'm glad we get to do this here in this environment because this is kind of a bonus day. And so it's working out kinks and figuring out what we need to do for when we're in New York City and like really want to show it off to very important customers and clients. Wow, you're pulling heat from a generator? Yeah, that's right out here. Uh, there's been a lot of positive feedback though. I mean, I think just seeing it, touching it, uh, and learning about the solution has been really good for people. I was not expecting to see a, uh, a radiator a, a refrigerant producing steam boiler. What's really beautiful about this trailer is it's five, six different pieces that all work together uh, to create energy in a way that most of us don't normally think of. It's a cool day for the future of clean energy. A couple of engineers that we are speaking to today basically were able to see the system running and say, we can apply this to a job right now. These guys here have the technology and they put it in a trailer. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to connect with them throughout the show. That's great. Yep. You guys rock. They are going places. We want to see this really take off. Yeah. That is heat pump energy right there. This one. Okay, so New York Geo, 2025. This guy Hi. built the trailer in record time. We're here to show it off. It's a big crowd, so there's quite a few hundred people. We have the table here, so basically in between uh, conferences, everybody's able to come out, get some information, and of course we have Ian running the trailer, so anybody who's interested in seeing the equipment running can actually go out to the parking lot and see it work. I'm Julia. Um, I work with the Clean Fight. We're the administrator of the Empire Technology Prize that MPN is a finalist in. Super excited to come out and see the trailer in real life today. We're proud to be a supporter of MPN and the great work they're doing in New York City and beyond. The NY Geo Test Run was a success. But now, the MPN team has an entirely new set of challenges ahead of them, setting up their rig on the streets of New York City. The drive, that'll be tough enough, but just getting a place to park might be the biggest challenge yet. Oh, and where do they plug this thing into? We'll see how they do on the next MPN Clean Fight. On the next MPN Clean Fight. We're here at our Mount Vernon warehouse today for the opening of our new sales and service facility. We want to celebrate Miller Proctor Nicholas being closer to New York City. All right. Yay! It's an exciting day and we're really looking forward to showing everyone around. Now that they're getting settled into their new home, Ian has a clean fight update for the team. I just wanted to officially announce to everybody that we received the successful completion and funding for level two and three milestones of the Empire Technology Prize. Um, that's exactly what we hoped to set out to do in August, and we did it, and now it's official. Congratulations, oh, Ian. That is awesome. I mean, I want to thank the team. What great news. You guys have done an excellent job. It's really clear that our reputation is growing stronger and stronger by the day. Uh, word is out that we're making steam with this solution, and everybody is talking about it.